one o tricks point never uh sometimes known as OPN, is a um, working name for a guy called Daniel Lopatin, who's an experimental electronic music producer from Massachusetts. He's particularly known for experimental reinterpretations of various genres. Uh, his first album was released in 2007, and he has released eight more since. Hi, my name's Dan. Uh, so this was the sixth album by... Uh, OPN and um, I'd not come across him before i would not come across his music before and as I often do in these circumstances I had a first listen before I uh, actually found out anything so it was obvious um, on the first listen that it's uh, it's electronic music it's obvious that it's uh, experimental it's very kind of um, closely controlled and composed and uh, but there's a lot of odd sounds being used in unusual ways uh, often kind of feels like they're not being played in context or the, there's something odd about them that uh, the key isn't being held on long enough when there's a bit of speech you just get snatches of it uh, some of the instrument sounds uh, either kind of go on too long or too short and they're juxtaposed quite juxtaposed posed quite oddly uh, sometimes kind of you know, oddly pitched for samples um, uh, and there's very little percussion in there uh, but there's an obvious structure to it okay so I, I thought this is interesting this is weird the guy's playing about with these sounds um, and uh, making an interesting kind of texture to what's going on um, and then I read about him and a little bit about the album and if you want something quite amusing uh, go to the Wikipedia page about the album and read what the critics have said. They've read all sorts of things into this album that um, I'm not sure I particularly read in uh, myself, but uh, the reason for that is because I think I've worked out what's going on here. Uh, I may be wrong, but I have a, I have a concept of, uh, uh, of how this could have been created. So the album title... Um, is a reference to a procedural writing technique called N plus, N plus 7, uh, which uh, this is you know, freely up there on the Wikipedia page. Uh, it's used by a French writing group called, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Oulipo, uh, which involves replacing any noun in a text with the seventh one to follow it in a dictionary. Okay, so you get this kind of um, weird uh, surrealism that happens by replacing these nouns by uh, different nouns. So my theory is that he's, uh, the title here is a clue. There's nothing on the stuff that I've read that indicates that this might have been done, so it's just my idea. Um, but that he's composed some music fairly conventionally using um, a, a digital audio workstation, using uh, MIDI to trigger off the all the sounds, um, and then he's used some kind of procedure to switch the sound patches that are being used in a similar kind of substitution way to this uh, writing technique. And the clue there is the name of the, the technique, uh, I think. So I'm actually pretty convinced that this is what was done. Uh, and because as I listened for the second time through, I could hear it. And I could actually hear wh which different things might have been replaced, particularly um, I could kind of tell what might have been the drum tracks, the rhythm tracks, with uh, particular repetitions that they've got, but it sounds odd because the pitches are all wrong and, um, and things like that. So I could be wrong, um, and I'd, I'd love to know uh, if you've got any different theories or if you agree with my theory. Uh, please let me know in the comments down below. Overall, I'd say it's a bit of an unusual listen, um, but I, I quite enjoyed it. And once I kind of had this click and this thought, I felt like I could hear more structure in it than I did the first time through because I felt I had maybe an understanding of it. And I quite enjoyed it. Uh, so that's it from me for now. Thank you.